Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, guys. It's your girl at Shop Simply Sue talking to you, yes, you, about Bentley Tour 2022 with none other than Richmond's own biggest wave, Von Wave, right here on Inside Simply Sue. Hey. Welcome to Inside Simply Sue. Hey, I appreciate you for having me, man. I feel blessed to be here. I'm, I'm already feeling good about this. <laughs> so I just want to know, um, how long have you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music for about three, four years now. Um, let me actually turn it down right quick. Are you good? Yeah, I've been doing music for about three, four um, years now. Uh, I've been rapping for about like 10, to be honest, though, just like freestyling, doing some like playing around kind of stuff. But yeah, since my son was born, I kind of just like, you know, I took that, that role serious as far as like being a rapper. Oh, really? So most people, when they have a child, choose to not be a rapper what made you feel like that's something that you should put more energy into well uh my son my biggest motivation first of all so like you know i want him to see how it looks to chase your dreams you know no matter if i make it to the little baby status or what have you like he's always gonna be able to see like you know, this is what my dad loved to do and he was always doing shows he was always doing this so when it's his time to do whatever it is that he want to do that he is no excuse. Like, you know, I showed you the ropes. I, you know, everything that I say to you is valid. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure I I was serious about what I was doing it so I can let my son know one day your dad did that. Practically. I think that's really I think that's really cool. As a parent, like I've been on both sides, so I don't know how old you are specifically. I'm 37. So I've been through the phase of life where I've been, uh, let's just follow the rules. Let's go to work, get the check, maintain the 401k and have the security. Then I flipped the script. This I flipped the script a couple of years ago. And I was like, that ain't it. <laughs> um, it's time to jump up off the porch and really like show these kids what it is because life is just, is just different. So my question for you is, what do you think are some of the biggest differences between your childhood and your son's childhood? Uh, well, my childhood was definitely like a little rougher than his. He kind of got it good. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't grew up with, uh, both parents, you know, like around and shit like that. My dad wasn't around. So, you know, I'm very active because of that. And I know how that feels. So I, I never want my son to feel that way. So I make sure that I'm very active, uh, with him. Uh, so that's probably one of the biggest differences I could say just right then and there. Uh, he's spoiled. You know, I do whatever for him. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's 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 a lot, it's a lot, it's a, it's a it's a lot of differences. But you know, I'm just trying to do everything I can that he don't have to, you know, deal with some of the experiences and whatnot that I had to. Does your son know you're going on tour? Uh, nah, he doesn't. But I be I send him stuff all the time, like my interviews. <laughs> Are you serious? I send him my performances, different like photos and stuff like that. You mean he gets to see his dad running around like a rock star? Let me see if I can find a clip and upload it real quick yeah. of you being a rock star. Yeah, he's actually um been at a few of my performances on, and he actually performed with me a few times. He's been on stage with me a few times. I didn't know that. Are you serious? That's mm -hmm. really cool. Does he like performing? Yeah, he does. I mean, now now that he doesn't be he's not able to get out as much because he started school. Mm -hmm. uh, started kindergarten this year. Mm -hmm. He's not able to come to as many of my performances. So now when he comes out, he really be trying to like be in the mix. Like he take it on. Like I don't know the next time I'll be able to come to this performance. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. That is so sweet. So oh man. Out. So we're going on tour. I want to know, like, I want to know the juicy stuff. You know what I'm saying? We've been working behind the scenes now for a little bit. How's the city treating you now that everything's starting to come to light? Um, I mean, well, Richmond is one of them places where you got to really show people and make them a believer. And I've been putting in work for a good amount of time now, and I feel like I've made a lot of people believers at this point. So it's, it feels good for people to, uh, you know, give me my flowers and stuff like that. But it's, it feels even better for them to take me serious and for them to know, like, I'm serious about what I do. Because I don't care about none of the accolades. I want to be respected for what I do, you know. 
Um, and that's in anything that I do in life that I take serious, whether that's being a father, you know, being a, a friend, a musician, you know, I, I take those roles seriously. I think that's freaking phenomenal. I think that I think it's great that everybody's showing you love and you're really getting able to like be a rock star. How do you feel transitioning? Like, do you feel an internal transition from Von Wave that is a dad versus Von Wave that's a rock star standing on the bar with the shirt off? <laughs> uh, it is definitely a difference because, um, I mean, during the daytime, I'm real relaxed, I'm real chill, laid back. I really don't speak much, you know what I'm saying, unless I'm spoken to. I, you know, I get to talking if you let me talk your head off. <laughs> I will, I will, but I'm not really uh, too talkative in groups and whatnot. I'm really like a fly on the wall kind of guy. You know, I like for other people to make jokes and stuff like that, and I laugh at them, you know, versus being the center yeah. of it. You know, definitely. Age, I definitely. That's, that's more than enough time for me to get my shine on and whatnot. Whether that's one day a week, as long as I get to perform and do my thing, then you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm straight with that. Do you like speaking of shining? Do you like to wear a lot of jewelry? Because I see right now it's hoodie season. We chilling right now. But when you pop out, are you a jewelry kind of guy? Oh yeah, I'm a jewelry kind of guy. Um, not necessarily. Uh, you know, like diamonds and the gold chains and big ropes and stuff like that. I'm more so, um, I just like accessorizing and throwing different things together. So it can be different stones. I could have a, a obsidian stone on my neck, but you know, if it fit my vibe and outfit, you know, have a collar spike, you know, necklace with this outfit here and there, you know, I, I'm more like that. Or even like uh, bracelets and whatnot. I don't really care for the big watches and I might have like a G Shock or something like that. Mm -hmm. But a real vintage kind of guy when it comes to that. Vintage. I like. <laughs> vintage is cool. Vintage. Well, I just kind of wonder about when they say that you don't like when you worry about your own style and fashion. So when you get ready for performances and whatnot, do you have a stylist who dresses you on a regular basis? Well, I dress myself on a regular basis, but I also do have a, uh, I'm a brand ambassador for RJ Brands and Customs, and we do have styling sessions and whatnot. And, you know, whenever um, whenever he has time and whatnot, we'll link up and we'll uh, hit the mall and we'll have styling sessions or what have you. And that, as far as every day, I put that shit on. I always have. You know. I know that's right. <laughs> but Steve Harvey on that ass. <laughs> High school. Um, but I, for a few years, you know, once my son was born, I kind of was paying attention to that. I stopped caring about myself. I was paying attention to my boy, making sure all our finances were straight. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I kind of just lost touch with the fashion. But, you know, once he got older and I took care of a few things, got on my feet, you know, I was able to start going back into the fashion and, and, and buying some drip here and there. And I ran into RJ, so that helped as well, actually process so what's a style session like what's that a styling session could be um as as little as your stylist coming by and seeing what you have in your closet and just saying hey all right match this with this match this with that or hey with these jeans you should probably get this type of shirt you know just kind of put the put an image together for you and whatnot um and even down to you know them to, you go into the mall and you actually buying stuff or they buy stuff that they think that uh, will look cool on you or what's in style. Um, so yeah, some on that, on that kind of time. I think that's really, really cool to, to have that type of information. You know, I like exchanging information with people with things that I'm interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like just being around random people. I have to like, we have to have a common interest. So I think that'd be really cool to just have like styling sessions to see. I like different textures. I'm, I think I'm a style guru myself. I mm -hmm. like to throw that shit on <laughs> from time to time. That definitely sounds um, on like fun. What's your ideal swag? What's a day of on wave like on a, what do you throw on when you go outside daily? Like, are you going to do, are you a suit and tie kind of guy? <laughs> Are you wearing your jeans down to your knees with your booty hanging out? Is that your thing? What's going on? Nah, nah. Um, I, I'm <laughs> a, a, a loose fit kind of guy during the day. Well, even I, I've been kind of staring to the baggy fit a lot more. Um, I've always been into the skinny, skinny jeans and more fitting type clothes. I'm a, I'm a small, a medium shirt for me. It do me just fine. Um, but lately, probably the past. Six to eight months, I've been into baggy clothes and stuff like that. 
Uh, just because, first of all, it's more comfortable for me. It's easier to move around when I'm on stage. And it's just, yeah, it's just comfy. Um, I'm talking about that. For me, it might be some sweatpants, some uh, Adidas sweatpants, some Nike sweatpants, or some just sweatpants with designs, a uh, uh, jogger, um, Jordan ones. I'm a basketball fan, so the ones is um, a graphic. Tee, dope graphic. I think you were in my fashion show with some ones on. Oh, yeah. And your RJ Brands custom trench. Yep. <laughs> if I'm yeah. not mistaken. So graphic tee together on that. That's a fit, huh? That's a fit. Little collar chain. Give me my ski mask, my scully. I'm ready to roll. So now we know your drip. We know what you do. So tell me, what's my favorite? What's my rapper's favorite rapper? My favorite rapper's favorite rapper. What's your favorite, favorite rapper? Favorite rapper is Currency. That's your favorite rapper? Oh, no. Oh, you say. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the excitement <laughs> on my face? Like, that's your favorite rapper? Yeah. What's your favorite rapper? My, my favorite rapper is Currency. Shout out to Currency. Shout out to Currency. Um, my favorite rapper is definitely Lil Wayne. Ooh, definitely. that's fire. Lil Wayne, Jay Z, um, Biggie, uh, Meek Mill, Tupac. So it sounds to me because I'm just trying to group those artists together. I enjoy listening to all those artists. You like lyricism, I guess. You like words. Mm -hmm. Those do. are lyricists. I don't even call them rappers because they're not just rapping; niggas are spitting. Yeah, I'm <laughs> more of a spitter. Like I. I rather, I rather get a, a instrumental and just write, uh, you know, a sixteen or a thirty-two, and with no hook. You know, mm -hmm. care for melodic, uh, you know, the hooks and all that stuff. I rather just go in there and spit because I just like to spit. Like I you like got to, something to say, you know. But you know, as of lately, since I've got into performing and whatnot, you know, I've been catering more towards like performances and whatnot. So I've been getting into songwriting. And what have you, but initially I love just freestyling and writing. Oh. Well, on that note, on that note, I don't have a beat, so I mean, I could probably try to beatbox if y'all want to see Simply Sue beatbox on, on air, but uh, definitely hit us with a freestyle before we go. Bentley Tour 22 is underway. This is your boy, Von Wave. It's me at Shop Simply Sue. You better get your tickets online at Eventbrite or www.shopsimplysue.com all right, for sure. So, look, I just saw uh, a little acapella. That woman's stern lies on my name because I'm grinding and I'm rising to the get the past. No time to explain. Only time I look back to how far and came. Real hit and I stand on real shit. That's why the week is intimidated. See, y'all was poking at a sleeping bear and I got more than what y'all anticipated. <laughs> That it is on senior waiting. Cause honestly, I've been waiting patient to grab the pistol and slap the beard off you niggas' faces. <laughs> <laughs> I already know this shit. Same women one throw shade, be the same ones when we throw the dick. But I'm cool on that little coochie. Heard that shit hotter than stolen whips. Last <laughs> Spoken my name, but let's say that nigga ain't spoken since. See, I done survived worse. I done what I done, but I always put God first. Ain't no canceling God's work. He told me my son, but to blow like a firework. I've been standing at the light at the end of the tunnel so long, it's been making my eyes hurt. Hey, get in the way of the wave. You walking away with your pride hurt on gang. <laughs> Von Wave. That's just a sneak peek. Bentley Tour 2022 headlining Von Wave. Definitely be there. Check it out. Big, super shout out to Bentley Records for giving your girl Simply Sue the opportunity to coordinate, plan, um, and then be able to show some love to the city. I'm able, I'm happy to be able to share with those that are willing to embrace what God has for us. So get your tickets online. Be sure to comment, subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, guys. Uh, hey.